Well, I want to state something about this uh, guy, the DHS Insider, you know. Um, I kind of like, you know, looked at some of that stuff over the last couple of years, the DHS, in DHS Insider, Department of Homeland Security Insider. This guy supposedly is informing somebody or the alternative media that, you know, something's going to happen this year, that year. And I, and I took note of what he said, more or less, and it never happened, right? Not that something can't happen, but... Um, you know, I'll tell you the truth, I just had a look up Joel Skozin, and I says, I was just wondering what he thought about it. He thought it was fake. And he put out a couple reasons for that, but you know, in my mind, the way I looked at it, you wouldn't just have one person blowing a whistle. That's one thing. You know, there'd be other information coming out, like there'd be other ways to confirm things. Uh, you know, he just wouldn't have one guy knowing this. Like, he talked about a coup against the President of the United States, right? And he, Obama would be overthrown and all this kind of garbage. There'd be total collapse. Uh, if he had that kind of knowledge of stuff, uh, you know, that's talking like real inner circle stuff. Uh, he probably would have, they, they would have figured out who the hell he was and it would have whacked him, you know, if that was really going to happen. Uh, the other thing is, though, None of his predictions ever really came true. You know, that's something else. So I don't know who the hell this guy is, but I think it's a bunch of BS all the way. Not that I say that the Department of Homeland Security is a good thing, because that's basically the nationalization of the police force in a lot of ways, and that's a danger to the American way of life. But, um, you know, I don't trust the alternative media at all. And, uh, you know, one person that's uh, been accurate and for over the years, and it takes a long time. He's got long-range predictions, and I've read this stuff from way back. It was Major Anatoly Galitsyn, uh, former KGB, defected in 1961. There was another one. I think uh, he was a he was uh, the Polish ambassador to uh, Japan. He, he he used to write a lot of stuff. He's died though some years ago. Um, Zdzislaw Rares, I think his name was, but. You know, it's very interesting and that a lot of this stuff that's going on with this New World Order is uh, basically in cahoots with the East and the West, the Western elite and, and uh, Eastern elite are all working together. It looks like Vladimir Putin isn't working with the Western elite, but that doesn't mean he's a good guy. You know, that doesn't mean he's a good guy at all. He's not on the side of anybody on the West, that's for sure, or, including the people. But, um, you know, if you actually want to worry about something long range, um, what could possibly happen if there's a financial collapse in the United States, like a real financial collapse, not just a market collapse, what you will see is that will lead to world war. That's what always happens. I mean, it's like, I don't want to throw the doom and gloom out there, but that's reality. And, you know, a lot of times people talking about, yeah, if there's a financial collapse, the elite will collapse. No, that's not what's going to happen. It's actually going to lead to more problems. So you really don't want a financial collapse. You know, I think the idea, of, you know, you know, maybe someone with this silver, you don't have to hold the gold 100% into silver, but that's not a bad idea too. Uh, you know, and I know there's people out there saying it's never going to go up, but we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Silver's an animal that surprised the hell out of people, but I ain't going to be afraid to sell when I see some prices that are way the hell up there. But, uh, you know, it looks like, you know, I got some, I got some respect for Joel Skozin. I think, uh, I think that he, even though I've never seen it in an interview by him where he stated this, I think he's read extensively about Major Anatoly Galitsyn. And, you know, if you look at Major Anatoly Galitsyn's uh, record on accuracy over all these years, and I'm talking decades, about events that would happen in the future, he doesn't do it because... You know, he doesn't, he has, his analysis is not because he knows exactly what's going on at the given moment on the inside, because he defected back in 61. But he was privy to a lot of long-range planning of the KGB. But the thing is, um, you know, it's like our elite in here in the West and also the elite in uh, Russia and China, they're all working together more or less for the same goals. And they could fight each other, but they all are pretty much screwing over the regular people. You know what I mean? So, anyway, I don't think this guy, I, I think there's a lot of bad information out there on the Internet with these truthers, big time. 
And you know, it almost reminds me of this new cat I got over here. It's like, uh, you know, you listen to this shit too much, you get like brain freeze and you're paranoid. You know, like this new cat I got over here, they call him, you see, he's shy. He's not shy. He's, uh, he's not mean. He's not aggressive. He's not shy. He's paranoid and he's got brain freeze because he thinks, you know, all this shit's going to happen all the time. And, you know, that's what the, actually the truth or mark movement in a lot of ways is doing to people. You know? Because there's a lot of freaking fakes out there, big time. And, you know, they are. The, the biggest ones out there, AJ, you know? And the guy with the lizard people, you know? So, anyway, uh, you know, and I've noticed, you know, I put something, I, I, I was surprised, I almost figured, I said, watch this stupid video take off. I put something out about, uh, the Rothschilds, you know, in the banking system in the globe. That turns out that's my, like, number one video now. And I'm thinking, you know, I almost kind of figured that was going to happen. I almost kind of figured that was going to happen. I ain't playing that kind of shit. I ain't playing that kind of shit. So, like I says, you know, you're going to actually see, like, it just dispersed with a lot of this silver and conspiracy garbage. A lot of how-to videos, because I think they're more down and nuts and bolts, and that's what people need to know. You know? That's what people need to know. You know, a lot of this stuff with uh, it's is basically fear porn for money, and I don't like that stuff. I don't like it at all, to tell you the truth. But I think the DHS insider is a pile of bullshit, <laughs> big time. You know, it, there isn't any. There isn't any. There isn't anybody spilling the beans like that. And you know, and I can tell you right now, if you want to use a little common sense, common sense goes way further than all the bullshit they throw you out, throw out there. You know, there's plans of, I'm sure they got plans of how they could possibly, and they look at all these contingent plans that could possibly take more power. There's always people like that. There's always people like that that's been around since day one. That's why you got to stick with the freaking Bill of Rights in a limited form of government and use it. And, you know, politicians like Feinstein and Chuck Schumer and all this kind of garbage, you know, they're screwed up, right? You know, but the problem is... Who the hell, they get voted back in office. So who the hell's the problem right there, right? Right? Anyway, I don't think this DHS, DHS insider is real in any respect at all. At all. It's bullshit. It's bullshit to the max. And like I said, it would, if there was going to be something where there's somebody telling what's going on, you'd hear it from more than one person. But his track record sucks, man. You know, this guy predicted, he's like, it's like Pastor Lindsey Williams, you know, the guy's another bullshit artist, too, big time, big time, but, you know, I'm going to, I'll put out, I'm going to put out another video here pretty soon about some of this stuff, because actually, uh, I'm playing more only from what I think, I'm not getting influenced by these clowns anymore, because when I hit, I hit, you know, I hit my own stuff out there, it's more accurate, you know? You know, sometimes I'm getting influenced by these yo-yos out there, and I'm thinking, well, yeah, maybe they're right. And they've been fucking wrong. They've been wrong all the way. They've been wrong all the way. So, but uh, if there is a, uh, you know, what I think is going to happen if you really want to worry about something, there's going to be, a, if there's a financial collapse in the United States, there's going to be a fight, and actually where I think there's going to be a major problem globally, it's probably going to be with, uh, China probably getting more aggressive and stuff because they need resources like oil. It's probably not going to be so much over the Middle East. It's probably going to be more with China. That's what's going to happen. And I know Lindsey Williams says the Dalit guy told him that China's the big one. But no kidding, China's the big one. Ugh, who the hell, you know? I know that. I know that. And uh, actually, Major Golitsyn says... Long range. China is going to turn out to be like the enemy of the United States at one point in time. Russia is going to play like a strategic alliance with the United States to uh, stop China. And then Russia is going to uh, stab the United States in the back and break the, break the deal. That's something he, I, I remember he said a long time ago. Thing is, you know, you know why I listen to that guy? Because he's been right. He's been right. He talked about the fall of the Berlin Wall. 
the bringing down of the Berlin Wall, that solidarity would happen in Poland. He talked about perestroika, glasnost, the new opening, the reunif reunification of Germany. And um, basically, you know, the goals actually are the same. And communism basically is not really coming from Russia per se. It's actually coming from a lot of places in the world. It's actually a form of government that's good for the elite, for the elite. So basically communism went away, but you got this new type of hybrid capitalism communism going, right? That guy's been accurate. He's been accurate. Nobody else I know has been accurate. You know, and you know what's weird? You'll never hear about Major Anatoly Galitzin too much on the internet, anywhere, period. You'll never see an interview with him. You might see, like, uh, former KGB generals going around talking to universities, like when the Soviet Union fell down and everything it fell apart. They used to have these former KGB generals going around to universities, getting paid like $100,000 a speech by the Council on Foreign Relations. But not uh, Major Anatoly Galitzin. He couldn't even show his face anywhere. But if I, 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 I know right, I think he was working with the Marine Corps for many years, too. So there's a lot of shit going on behind the scenes. There's a lot of shit going on. So, if, you know, where, where you're actually going to have to worry about something, this could probably be, you know, if there's a real financial collapse, that's not going to be the end, man. That's going to be the beginning of the worst shit going. That's why I don't really want to scare two people too much because people get brain freeze and they worry too, too much. Then they're in a constant state of fear and it's no good. But that's something you don't want to hope for. But this guy, this DHS insider, is full of it. I, you know, I don't know who the hell he is. I don't know who the hell he is. I don't know even know. I don't even know if it's like the, the truther movement is, uh, you know, it's part of their scam. But I don't. Maybe it isn't. Maybe this guy is a disinformation agent from the government himself, right? Maybe that's what the hell that is, right? Maybe they want something to happen and rile something up so they can crack down. That would make the most sense out of the whole damn thing, right? So I think the DHS insider. Maybe he's he's from. Uh, Something that makes makes wants to have some kind of civil unrest to happen. That's maybe what it is. That's what I think, anyway. If you really want to know the future, uh, Major Anatoly Galitzin's been right. You know what? You don't hear shit about him anywhere. You don't hear nothing about that guy. Nothing. Nothing. And uh, he's, I don't know how old he is now. He must be in his 90s or something, or late 80s at least. But he's been right all along. He's been right all along. So, if there's a financial collapse in the West, there's going to be World War III. So let's not hope for a financial collapse, you know. I'd like to see silver go up. I don't want to see it go up to $1,000 an ounce. Because if it goes up that high, we had a financial collapse. So you might get rich, and then you might get bombed. That's not cool. So this is what happens when you watch alternative media too much. You get like this cat right here. He gets like brain freeze, man. He's like, uh, this is my shy cat that I picked up. I'm going to get him, give him some uh, lavender chamille flowers. I got it on order. See what the hell happens to him. I'm doing an experiment. So we'll find out, man. But this is what happens when you watch Alex Jones too much and uh, you believe everything's going to happen. You get like brain freeze and you stay in a corner and you hide and you stare into space like this nutcase over here. Right? And I'm playing him some music so, uh, you know, it's cats purring and, uh, what the hell is it? Harps? So, uh, you feel better, right? Yeah, meow. Yeah, okay.